My Christmas reindeer head has had a new makeover. In the past, it has various different features powered by a Raspberry Pi. This has included being a talking radio triggered by a PIR sensor and even incorporated Google AI using the Google AIY voice recognition kit. This year, I thought I'd simplify the project by using a Raspberry Pi Pico to play Christmas music. I've used the new Pico 2W, which allows me to incorporate a web server so the music can be controlled through a browser, such as using a mobile phone. The music is played using the DF Player Mini, which I recently wrote a library for the Pico using MicroPython. I've also included a flashing light sequence for the Antler LEDs, which is still controlled using the 7406 that I used in my previous version. The 7406 is a quad hex buffer, which has open collector outputs, which make it easy to connect to the LEDs. This image shows the breadboard layout. I've used a half-sized breadboard with the Raspberry Pi Pico and the DF Player Mini MP3 player on it, and then a mini breadboard with the 74HC04 integrated circuit and the current limiting resistors for the LEDs. Two of the LEDs are connected to the light bars and the others are just normal LEDs. The source code is based on the Pico MP3 player which I covered in an earlier video. But the extra feature is an extra thread used to create the flashing LEDs. This is actually running three threads using async IO. One for handling the web requests, one for checking the status of the MP3 player, and another for running the LED sequence. There's actually a fourth as well, which is the main function, but that's really just kicking off all the other threads. The Pico 2W has a dual core, it's more than capable of handling the work involved. The actual playing of the MP3s is handed off to the DF Player Mini, which has the music files on an SD card. The timing of the LEDs is approximately tied into the beat of the music, but only through tweaking the pause between flashes. It's not actually kept in sync with the music. The music used for this example are all based on music included in the YouTube Creator Music Library, so as to avoid copyright issues. But you can use any music from any MP3s. I hope you like the project. If so, please give it a thumbs up. I wish you a Merry Christmas and I'll be creating more projects next year, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you on a future video.